Okay, so we're gonna try to motorize the 421544 Ford uh, GT. Uh, the idea is to use two boobies motors, uh, one uh, powered up L motor for steering and a single boobies unit. The boobies will be all the way in the front, the drive motors near the center, uh, center rear, and the steering motor will be right behind the front axle. Now let's see if I can actually manage to make it happen. Okay, so I'm finished with the first bag, but uh, this is not the usual original model. As you can see, there are the two, um, two buoys motors integrated here. So I'm trying my best to preserve the functionality and the looks. So for example, we still have the spoiler working. And if you drive the fake engine, also the wheel spin and the drive motor spin. So the drive motor is spinning the wheels and the fake engine. So this functionality was also preserved and you can see how tight just everything is. So, so far so good. And let's go with the back too. Okay, progress update. I managed to integrate the steering servo in the front. I also preserved the spoiler lifting mechanism, even though it's a bit different now. And now I'm using the buoys, uh, which is placed in totally front and low as possible. And it, it's also being used as a structural component. So it's going to be holding this part of the car together. So more or less all the motorized uh, functions are done. Now it's just a matter of rebuilding the, basically the body. Okay, so here's the finished modification. Uh, as uh, I wanted to, I kept the exterior more or less unchanged. The only difference is here. There is a slight, slightly larger gap here uh, because I had to accommodate the motors and the seats, uh, the seats had to be moved one step further uh, forward towards the front axle uh, because of the motors. But they were only moved at uh, the bottom side. The top side position has not changed. Other than that, uh, their exterior details have been left as they are. No changes to them. Uh, internally, I had to, of course, change the way the suspension in the rear is made. So the shock absorbers are now uh, attached a bit higher. They're still using the engine block as a mounting point. And other than that, uh, there were no uh, major changes. The spoiler still works. You can still move this handle and move it up and down. And if we open the front hood, you can see that there's the boobies and the charging port is right there to, if you need it to use it. The steering has been motorized. The suspension has been left as it is in the front. And I think it came out really well. The model is fully motorized. So the drive motors not only drive the wheels, but they also drive the fake engine. So I'm really happy with how it turned out. And let's see how well it goes.